Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's just dive into what we're getting into today, which is what's in my bag? Now, if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, you probably saw that back in December, I purchased for myself the Louis Vuitton MM Artsy along with this keychain on it, uh, as well as a couple of other Louis Vuitton items to go in the bag. If you're not a Louis Vuitton lover, or if you think Louis Vuitton is basic AF, and I am that as well, I'm okay with that title. Just to warn, um, this bag is quite large, and I am a freaking hoarder when it comes to putting stuff in my bag. I'm just gonna be honest. Everything goes in here, nothing comes out. You need some muscle to sort of tote this around with you, so this is not for the weak friends, this is not for the weak. So let's dive into um, what this is. First of all, this is a canvas bag. This is one of the classics of Louis Vuitton. It's been around for quite some time. As you can see, it is a very oversized bag. It has a braided handle up top, and uh, this is one that you're supposed to either carry physically by hand or just on the sling of your forearm. It's not meant to be over the shoulder. Um, but I loved it because it has a bit of a hobo style to it, um, and the more you use it and wear it, sort of the slouchier it becomes. You guys want to see the inside. The inside of the bag is pretty big like you can see how massive and oversized so I've got oops this is in the way I've got two flaps or pockets on the top and on the other side you've got another god everything's in the way <laughs> another zipper and two flaps as well up there so first up we have my sunglasses these are you Saint Laurent sunglasses um, God, I've had these for years. I picked them up at like a Saks Avenue or Saks off the fifth store years ago for a, quite a steal. I have, oh, a ton of receipts. Um, massage receipts, Home Depot receipts, which I can assure you Home Depot is not something I visit often. Some gift receipts for some presents I bought, a mailbox slip. God forbid I put any of these in my wallet or take them out, although I'm finally gonna do that right now. And here are my glasses. These I have because most of the time I am wearing contacts, but I find sometimes if I'm really on the road all day long, my eyes will become very dry. Oh my God, these are so dirty. <laughs> How can I see any of these things? I have my phone, which you guys have seen, my Louis Vuitton folio case. If you want to see a review on this and how I'm liking it so far, I will link the video for that down below so you can check it out. Kleenex pockets, because you never know. Sometimes you need them. I also have this little coach change purse. Again, this one has to be close to 10 years old. I absolutely love it. I like that it was a partial flower um, and that it was really just kind of bright and summery. I cannot stand having change in my wallet and having to sift through it. So I always carry a separate little coin purse for something like that. This is my business card holder. All my business cards go in here as well as another business card holder. But this is for um, like just separate cards like my library card and like a couple of other things that I didn't really want in my wallet or I wouldn't grab for quite as often um, but I needed some extra card holders for them. Oh I have a bag holder, a broken one. <laughs> it used to have a cute little gem on top just to make it look nice for like putting this on the end of a table and then your bag slings off the end of this. So this is just sticking in here because I don't want to ruin the canvas of the bag by having it just sit on the floor or on like a dirty chair. I also had a little hair clip, just because you never know. Oh, I have a lipstick. This is NARS Roman Holiday. This is one of my favorites. If I have nothing um, on my lips and I need to put something on before going into a meeting or seeing a client or something like that, this is what I dash on my lips. I just love it because it's just a nice sort of muted pink and it just it has like the perfect sort of satin finish. I love it. I think it's so nice. I also have a, what are these called? USB sticks. This is from a media preview that I went to for a bunch of images and whatnot that are still on here for me to write about. And I also have some eye drops for my contacts. Again, just in case the eyeballs get dry, you gotta deal with those. In my purse, I also have a blood sugar kit just cause I have hypoglycemia and um, years ago, and again, you if you go down to one of my last What's In My Bag videos, you'll see that I used to have really bad anxiety um, because of my blood sugar and a couple other things that were going on. So I've always carried this with me. I don't really use it as much anymore because I've learned to manage it really well. Um, and I always carry snacks on me, which is another thing in my bag. Got some trail mix here. And then the next thing I have is the Louis Vuitton Adele wallet. This was one of my Christmas purchases. I don't really know, or I can't remember if I showed this guy this to you guys in depth. Um, but in here it's got my driver's license, my like all basic stuff. It's got two zippers up top. This thing's huge, which is why I wanted it 
because as you can see I hoard quite a few things. I also have the Louis Vuitton pochette in my bag only because sometimes I don't want to bring this massive bag with me especially if I'm going to an evening um, fashion event or something and I want just something simple to sling over my shoulder um, without having something really cumbersome especially depending on what I'm wearing. So I will have this and inside of this I have the mini pochette, which in here I have a bunch of makeup products, which I'm not going to go through in like grave detail, but I have like a bazillion lip glosses, this is only just some of them. <laughs> I have a Chanel lipstick, this is number 93, just a really like beautiful nude, oh my god it's so nice. And then I've got some makeup brushes in here just to help me touch up my makeup. I have. Uh, Marc Jacobs Daisy Perfume. I love having these sample perfumes to bring on the go if, you know, just to touch up your perfume during the day or if you're going to an evening thing. I love it for stuff like that. I also have a Tide to Go pen because I am the sloppiest person. I always, always spill something on myself, especially if I'm wearing white. Murphy's Law. Um, I also have some tampons, a band aid because. I get blisters from shoes and I'm not about that life so I have to cover that up with a band-aid. So I've got a couple of those in there. So that's all in that mini pochette. And the thing I like about this too is that if I really want to simplify what I'm holding, I can also carry this separately with just a few essentials. My phone will fit in here as well so if I really want to condense what I'm carrying around and either leave my bag at home or hide it in the car in the trunk and lock it there, then at least I've got something I can carry on the go with that. But I like how these sort of compartmentalize together. Louis Vuitton MM Agenda. This is what I use for everything. This is my lifeline. If I don't have this with me, my schedule will not happen. I do keep my schedule on my iPhone as well, but I just like writing things down and I really like decorating the pages and nerding it that way. If you guys want to see an explanation video on what I do with this, um, how I decorate it uh, along with my other uh, agendas from Louis Vuitton that I have because I do have the GM and PM as well and I do use all three so if you'd like to see how I use those and what's inside of them just comment down below and give this video a thumbs up so that is it guys the bag is empty empty nada nothing left if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to join me I'd love to chat with you guys on snapchat so make sure you follow me there as well I love you guys and I will see you later hi guys welcome back to my channel we are talking about June favorites